me. Howdy, partner. You, I do believe I just re-recorded the whole podcast because it <laughs> was messed up. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I guess the, the moral of the story is when you've got new equipment like these, uh, you should always test them first. My first ever podcast was in 2012. I had um, a podcast called, I think it was called like the Tommy Gentleman Podcast. Nice original name. Um, but I pulled it from the iTunes library because I think I had four episodes maybe because it was really hard those days to get them done. Um, I was recording it on my Mac just using no mic at all and then um, it took quite a while to upload them and stuff back then. Um, but I just didn't think it was very good because I wanted to do a new one. When I eventually did a new one, it was called the Lean Life Podcast. And it was very much about fitness and about health and about training and exercise. Um, and then I knew that I was being very safe and comfortable and I wanted to transition into more of a personal development platform that I shut that down and I started the Super Self Podcast. I got to about 50 episodes, I think, or 60 episodes in. And then I was like, I want to make this more widespread. I want to be able to cover more different topics and stuff. So that's when I changed it to Tommy G Talks. I kept the original episodes of the Super Self Podcast. You can actually still find them and I still talk about it being the Super Self Podcast. But Tommy G Talks is about to hit 100 episodes. Um, I've asked my wife Kelly to be my guest on episode 100. We're going to be marking the occasion of a century of podcast episodes with basically a bit of a roasting, I think it's gonna be, of me. Um, we're sort of gonna go and she's gonna ask me some questions and we're gonna share what it's like really behind the scenes of our door in our house. Um, some of the trials and tribulations that we've had this year with moving house, having a second child and also trying to weigh and balance everything else. So that one's gonna be really interesting, I think, as long as she brings her a game and uh, allows me to do the same, we don't play it safe, it'll be really interesting. This week I have interviewed Perry from Pezzas Sports. Uh, we talked a little bit about his journey and we also talked about the pressure that some parents are under when they're taking their kids to football games and other sports and stuff and how hard that can be. From his point of view, someone who's been running uh, football coaching for over 10 years, he's also a, a scout for Southampton Football Club, so had a good chat with him. He's a client as well. Um, also just spoke to another client of mine, Olivia, who is a singer-songwriter. She just had a song come out um, called Bad Day and it is going really well. She's a phenomenal talent. She was on The Voice of Bulgaria twice. Uh, the first time she didn't get through, no, t no uh, chairs turned. The second time, all four chairs turned and she made it into the final. She actually came third in the whole competition. So that's really cool, got to chat to her about that. Also spoke to Theo Millward, who is a successful entrepreneur. He's in his 30s and I met him when we were both speaking at an event called Franchise Fest. Very smart guy, extremely innovative takes risks and a really positive leader. So I think you'll enjoy that one, particularly if you're a business person. Also spoke to another client of mine, Claire Rafferty. She's done so well this year with her business. She is a health and fitness professional who helps women to feel confident, to learn how to eat healthy. Um, she empowers them. She's a great role model. So check that one out. And Luke Thomas, he's another client of mine who is a meditation coach. And we talked a real interesting talk about spirituality, about meditation, about presence, which is really important right now around Christmas time. Christmas presents over Christmas presents. A few people have asked me about setting up a podcast. I've had a few emails, a few messages on social media with like, how do you set up a podcast? What platform should you use? What equipment should you have? How easy is it? How hard is it? If you're interested in finding out a bit more about a podcast for yourself, it's a great way of, by the way, of uh, sharing your content, getting yourself out there, becoming an, an authority within your space then let me know because if I do get enough people interested, I'll run a workshop or I'll do a live training or something online. Um, but unless I get enough people interested, I won't do it. So tell me if it's something that you're interested in, drop a comment underneath this video, let me know. Cheers. But yeah, it's been, it's been an awesome, awesome time and I'm really looking forward to um, the Christmas wind down, but also cannot wait for 2020. Hope you enjoy this episode. Let me know your thoughts.